All right, hello guys, and welcome to another video. In this video, I have the GoPro Hero 9 Black, and I'm gonna unbox it. Let's get into it. All right, so here we have the GoPro Hero 9 Black, and uh, first thing, the box is very different from previous boxes, which has had a clear top to show the GoPro. Um, this is basically like an actual box inside a box. Uh, here we can see everything that the GoPro Hero 9 comes with. GoPro Hero 9, battery, a screw, uh, a mount, um, a sticky, uh, sticky mount. Um, this is a charger, a normal charger USB. I have too many of them. and. What's new is a box. Um, GoPro usually doesn't include much, so this is actually big for them. Uh, anyway, the actual GoPro Hero 9 is going to have 20 megapixel uh, photos, 5K 30 plus 4K 60. Uh, it's waterproof, 1080p live streaming, hyper smooth. Uh, again, same resolutions, uh, except for 5K 30, 1080p 240. Um, voice control, we've had that before, 8x slow-mo, same thing, 240 FPS, data overlays, time warp, 1080p live streaming, super photo, raw, webcam, webcam is interesting, and the normal touch screen. So uh, the box isn't too interesting otherwise, so actually let's get into it. <laughs> this is what you guys came for. Uh, so this is actually, I, I can't believe they kept this part of the box. I really wish they had gotten rid of these rip tabs because then you can't put everything back inside the box, so yeah. Um, oh, satisfying at least. Um, all right, so now let's actually get into the box. And so I'm going to push from the top in. Ah! All right, so I'm just going to put this off to the side. All right, so here we actually have the GoPro Hero 9, uh, in box, um, it's slightly curved. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, maybe that's just my box. It says GoPro. Uh, it seems like a pretty decent hard box. Um, let's actually get into it. And here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh wow. Okay, so first off, the box has a um, little uh, uh, pouch right here. Um, and we have a bunch of paperwork here. Subscribe to GoPro. Uh, this is how you do everything, charge everything. Um, if you have any product questions, you can ask GoPro. Uh, yeah, that's about it. No stickers this time, which is surprising. I really wish they included stickers. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. Oh, no, they did include stickers. Yeah, GoPro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's something that GoPro does every year, and I was actually looking forward to it. So, yep, I'll be sure to save the stickers. <laughs> I put them on all my computers and everything. Um, so first off, I'm going to look at the cable. Same exact cable as previous years. I'm just going to set that off to the side. Um, same USB-C. Uh, battery, uh, I'm going to set off to the side. Um, literally, they only include a curved mount, which is the same as Hero 8. Um, now we have single screw. I believe it's the same as the Hero 8. And uh, this same exact little mounting thing that goes on here. There we go. And uh, let me actually click this in. Oh, it feels so good because it's new. Uh, I'll put that off to the side. And now we actually get to the main attraction. The GoPro Hero 9 Black. Wow, okay. First impressions, it is big. It's actually really, really big compared to the previous GoPros. Okay, so I have the Hero 8 right here. And so here you can tell the difference. Uh, it's obviously taller. Um, it is also much thicker and much just everything. It's much wider. Um, and the weight difference is almost, it's just like, wow, this is so much lighter than this. Um, yeah, really. Um, and also, those lenses not only add to like the body body difference, which is huge. Um, yeah, this is so much thinner and lighter uh, and less bulky than this. But I mean, it's a GoPro. It's still really, really small. Um, 
So, actually, let's let's actually first off compare the the screws. Everything's still the same. Um, it's the same accessories I checked. Um, so pretty much everything is the same here with the GoPro Hero 9. They don't include much. Um, let's set the camera aside for a second. Do they add anything else in this box? So no. Uh, they just give you this little thing and they tell you to recycle. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, let's actually peel this stuff off. This is super therapeutic. Um, here we go. So that wasn't uh, that hard. Just a little tab. Um, actually, let me get the microphone in here. Here we go. Alright, there's that one. And then this one. And the very last one, the back screen. All right. <laughs> I always love doing that with new GoPros. Um, let me put this back. Uh, this is actually not a switch. I thought this was a switch when uh, I saw the leaks of the GoPro Hero 9. This is not a switch. Uh, a GoPro says it's actually a microphone. That's a big microphone that's supposed to keep the water out. That's what that uh, those little ridges are for. Um, otherwise, uh, same feet, same fold out feet. Oh gosh, feels so much nicer when it's new. Wow, okay. Uh, they feel a little less flimsy. No, uh, about as flimsy as the GoPro Hero 8. It's just I've used this Hero 8 a lot more. Um, yeah, just the same amount of play. Uh, it's just these are stiffer because it's new. Um, anyway. Um, not much else to talk about. Um, this side door is different than on the GoPro Hero 8. Um, doesn't look too much different. SD card, uh, here actually. Um, you got where the SD card goes. You got the battery slot. And then you got your micro USB-C. Um, this looks to be like a better seal than the GoPro Hero 8. Um, when you close them, this feels like a weird, weird fit. It doesn't exactly fit flush. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this fits flush and it fits nice. It's like it's click, click, and then you just push it and then it comes out. You don't, it's actually spring loaded. So it, you push it out and then it comes in itself. So that's nice. Um, the front screen is going to be amazing to play with, but um, I believe this, yep, there we go. This actually comes off, so, and that's actually metal, so that's nice. You, I believe you can put a max mod or something on that, the max lens mod for the GoPro Hero 9 on there to basically make it a uh, super, super wide field of view, or FOV. Um, uh, I personally don't have it yet. I will get it to try it out because that has max hyper smooth. So I will be looking out for that. Now let's actually get into the battery and everything. Ooh, that was nice. Um, um, so the battery is very different from the GoPro Hero 8 battery. Give me a second. So they both have blue bottoms, except this battery, the GoPro Hero 9 battery is huge compared to it. Um, basically the same, except this is just upscaled version of it. The GoPro Hero 8 battery doesn't have a blue top um, or bottom, uh, whichever way you're thinking of it. But uh, either way, this GoPro battery is bigger in almost every way. Um, when GoPro said more everything, uh, yeah, they meant more everything, uh, even price, which is why this GoPro Hero 9 Black currently costs $449, so $450. So that was more, $50 more, 11% more than when the GoPro Hero 8 came out. So it's a bit expensive this year compared to other years. So let's actually pop this battery in. Oh, it's a nice fit. 
And uh, here, let's. Oh, there we got a flash. Uh, this button is different as well. Uh, this is uh, the GoPro Air 8 is a flush battery, not not flush battery, a uh, flush button. Well, this is um, a raised button on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. So let's go into it. Oh, wow. What a startup screen. Yep, it's a much bigger screen. That's lovely. Uh, I like the bigger screen. That's amazing. Um, yes, I agree to uh, to sell you my soul, GoPro. Uh, continue. All right, so let's actually get the GoPro app up. Um, I'll be right back. All right, so um, I got a micro SD while uh, I was gone, and I'm gonna put that in here. Um, also, I have the GoPro app up on my iPad. Normally, you would use this with your iPhone or Android phone, but right now I'm using my phone to record this video. So, uh, hmm. Okay, so let's search. All right, connect camera. Here we go, pair. GoPro always makes this easy, uh, and there we go. I think we pretty much have everything. Um, I'm going to change it to Henry's Euro 9 Black. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, wow, okay. Uh, it immediately starts off as standard 1060 wide. Um, oh. Here we go, um, updating the camera. Um, I'll be back when this is done. All right, so it looks like we're all set. All right, we're done right there. All right. All right, let's go. And, uh, okay, sorry about that. My iPad is running out of battery. <laughs> it's funny because everything seems to be low on battery now. <laughs> um, anyway, is this GoPro on? It still says it's downloading. It is very hot. Um, that's something. Um, okay. Try again. Especially the legs. This thing, ow, actually burns. Oh, that's super hot. Well, apparently updating while uh, charging really fast is not a good idea. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. And that is the GoPro Hero 9 right there. Um, I have a feeling it'll now connect because uh, I've uh, um, now actually turned it on and everything. Ah, geez. They've, I think those are heat sinks. One of them is obviously a... Uh, um, one of them obviously is a speaker, but I think that's a heat sink or a microphone because... Yeah, this one's very hot. That one could be the speaker, but both of these are very hot. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, they definitely made this GoPro more conductive. Uh, that's actually good because it radiates heat out. It radiates out heat instead of just keeping it inside and overheating. So we'll be fine. Um, there we go. Uh, enable preview. All right. All right. And uh, then I'll be able to see the uh, black screen that this GoPro is looking at. <laughs> Um, here, let me actually disconnect everything. Should be fine. Um, all right, there we go. This is the GoPro Hero 9. Wow, look at that. There's you guys. <laughs> um, and, uh, this is me, I guess. Um, it looks pretty much the same on both. Um, wow, that's actually really nice. Um, I don't think we need this, so I'll get this out of the way. 
All right, let's move everything uh, accordingly. All right, so GoPro Hero 9. Wow, all right. So having it on immediately, um, let me turn the GoPro Hero 8 on to show you guys. All right, having it on immediately next to the GoPro Hero 8, the size, <laughs> the size of the screen especially, that's just, wow, just okay. That's nice. Um, image quality, right now, uh, I really don't know. I can't tell that well, but uh, right now, I think that, hmm, let me see. This is in 1080p, so let's see if we can change that. Let's change you to, ooh, what's L plus? I have no idea what, maybe it's linear plus or something? Yeah, because here we only have cinematic 4K 30L, while on the GoPro Hero 9, we have L plus. Nope, I want to actually, there we go. Wow, what a mistouch. There we go. Linear plus. Oh, horizon leveling. Line linear plus horizon. Le All right, narrow, horizon leveling, linear, or super view. All right, or wider super view. All right, I'm going to go with, uh, oh, hindsight. That's cool. Um, shortcuts, lower left. I want to be lens. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, so here we go. Let's have boost on on both. And um, I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. It actually looks pretty decently stabilized. Yeah, wow, look at that. So if I turn it sideways, it'll more or less stay the same. So uh, actually, let's record on both of these. Um, both of these are going to be 4K60. Um, all right, so hi. Wow. Um, the GoPro Hero 9's uh, front-facing display immediately, immediately uh, helps with everything. So I'm going to turn everything to the side. And to the other side, and over. Um, the front-facing screen really does it for me. That looks amazing. Um, we did see this front-facing screen on another camera earlier this, not this year, um, just earlier in general. We saw it on the DJI Osmo Action, so that was cool. Um, let me actually shake both of these uh, cameras. Here, let me put them on top of each other, actually. Um, and all right so i'm just shaking him like this up and down all right and then i'm gonna turn 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 all right how does it look um all right next thing that i'm gonna talk about is or actually test is microphones so this is the gopro hero 9 microphone uh how do i sound one two three one two three all right now this is the gopro hero 8 uh microphones Hello, hello, how am I sounding? Do I sound good? Um, all right, so I guess that's gonna conclude it for that test, but um, otherwise, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, GoPro is bigger. Um, apparently the stabilization is better as well. So we'll definitely have to test that out. Um, I will not be uploading this video in 8K, even though I actually am gonna go into 8K right here. Um, change this to, where's my 5k? All right, here we go. Looping slow-mo video. Yep. Video. And I'm gonna go into resolutions and FPS. And there we go. Here are all our resolutions. Uh, I'm gonna go into 5k. All right, don't show again. Um, there we go. 5k 30. That's amazing. Um, there we go. All right, I'm done with that.
5K30, Hyper Smooth is going to be on. Uh, I don't think we're going to have Boost. Um, oh, no, we're going to have Boost, apparently, on the Hyper Smooth 3.0. Uh, duration no limit, uh, scheduled capture not available, uh, zoom not available, hindsight, I do know what hindsight is, it's basically, so, if, if something happens and I haven't pressed the record button yet, I can press it like 30 seconds later and it'll capture it, so, uh, I wonder if, yep, 15 seconds are off or 30 seconds, so, I might, I might put that on for my slow-mo, but uh, really, if it, can, if it can record continuously, there's no reason. Um, wind auto, sharpness high. White mounts auto. Raw audio. I don't want raw audio. <laughs> um, ISO max. Um, all pretty, pretty normal stuff. So, auto. I'm going to go on audio again. Uh, there we go. Okay, that, that seems to be pretty good I'm gonna go with this 5k as POV which reminds me I will do a video of putting this on my DJI Mavic 3 so watch for that video um, and otherwise um, I'm not sure there's much we can do other than test this 5k so um, yeah here we go all right, hello you guys, so this is the 5K on the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Now, I'm in pretty good lighting uh, with an interesting background, but um, right now, actually, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the actual uh, front-facing display is a little choppy. Now, um, that's fine, I mean, it's 5K, um, it's still great. Um, and in the 4K, I don't think it does that. Now, anyway, um, yeah, I will upload this video that's on the GoPro Hero 9. Um, I will upload that to YouTube in 5K, and I will link the video in the iCard and at the end of the video. All right. I think that's just going to be it. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I guess something's broken.